Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to reduce the amount of space Apple Music takes up on your iPhone. If your storage is getting full, you're gonna wanna try these tips. So first off, there are usually two main reasons why Apple Music is taking up so much space. One, you might have lossless audio turned on for downloads, which uses way more storage than standard quality. Second is if you've been listening to a ton of different songs, Apple Music caches them to make playback smoother and all that adds up. All right, here's what you gotta do. Go into settings on your iPhone, scroll to the app section. Now, please scroll down and tap on music. Then look for audio quality. If lossless is turned on for downloads, you're gonna wanna switch that off to save a ton of space. Next, go back and tap optimize storage. On this screen, turn on optimize storage. Now you'll see options like four gigabytes, eight gigabytes, up to 128 gigabytes. By default, it's set to none, which means Apple Music can use unlimited space. Pick a limit that works for you. When you hit that limit, Apple's gonna start removing the songs you listen to the least. Again, go back, so you can also turn off automatic downloads if you wanna control what gets downloaded manually. That way, you only download the songs or albums you really want offline. Another quick trick is to clear out individual downloads. To do so, open the Apple Music app, go to Library, tap Downloaded, tap on the Songs tab, then swipe left on songs or albums you don't need anymore, and tap on the Trash icon. So you'll see a pop-up. Just pick the option to remove from downloads only. You can keep doing these steps to delete as many songs as you want. Also, restarting your phone once in a while clears out temporary caches and helps free up space. Just pull down Control Center from the top right corner, now press and hold the power button, then drag the slider to the right to turn off your phone. And then press the side button to restart your phone. All right, that's pretty much it. If you follow these steps, you'd probably save a good chunk of storage on your iPhone. Hope this helped. Drop a comment if you got questions or want to see more iPhone tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.